How you doing this evening? Um, video is going to be about the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion. I got a chance to really sit down and surmise it all an evening ago. Um, and I had to see for myself. Uh, going into it, the main thing, obviously, seeing Jane, Janet uh, Hubert, Hubert and Will Smith squash the beef, the OG Aunt Phil, was also attributed to Uncle Phil, James Avery. And when I think about that foolery that goes on in Washington, the White House, I said, well, if he was alive, could he throw Trump onto the lawn? I'd be so ecstatic. But going back, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was not only a hip and happening show, but it was a modernizing show with a hip-hop element in mainstream TV. Now, a lot of people may look at Will Smith as cornball and laugh, but you can't look in 2020 eyes and understand in 1990 when there was a, wasn't a hip-hop variation. You know, a lot of the shows that I liked in the 90s, be it Living Single, New York Undercover, Martin, owed a, owed a bag to the Fresh Prince of bel a lot of them. You know, because it modernized a lot of stuff, but it also gave a vehicle. And Will Smith, it launched his career as an actor. But it also... The upward mobility of black folks. So you go from the Jeffersons to the Cosby show to what you see here. But but you got a realness with the OG Aunt Ville, Uncle Phil. You got a realness. Jeffrey the butler, the British cat. But you got a, a, a nod to Benson, Robert Gilliam, but, but with a but with a touch. Everybody played their part. You bought the whole family. You felt what was going on. They were cool with how they dealt with things. And they were modernized. You see. And it was, you know, uh, Carlton Banks and Fonz Roberto doing Tom Jones and doing the white dance was hilarious. But he also was representing a segment of black folk who looked at a um, family ties with Michael J. Fox. Like the black version of Michael. Like you saw them take aspects of different shows and combine it into one. So the Fresh Prince of bel was like a revelation of the past, the present, and also the future. You know, and what a launching pad it was for Will Smith's career to become an actor, to broaden his plate and where he ended up going. You know, and you see a lot of growth with all that. Daphne Maxwell Reed, who became the second on Viv, had her role and her part, and she did her thing, you know. And, you know, the thing about it is that the show just was a, a one of them shows that you wanted to watch, you know. Obviously, when it ended, Will Smith had become big time, you know. But it was still one of them shows that it was a launching path for so much, you know. And it was very important that the family was centered. More importantly, the mother and the father, you see. A lot of times, uh, you don't get that base. And that was very important that that was reflected. But you really saw how big James Avery's character was as Uncle Phil. You really saw that. I'm not going to say he wasn't, he, 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 he wasn't quite, he didn't quite scare you like John Amos did as James James Evans Sr. on Good Time. But let's say he got respect. Let's say that. And a black male figure as a father figure on a network show. Are you kidding me? And that is always one of them things that is missing. So I wanted to take the time to say that was a reunion that was very emotional, was heartfelt. And it touched the soul and it brought back a lot of memories. And I still watch the old episodes to this day. Probably always will. Because I really enjoyed the show. Um, you know, I liked how everybody progressed. But it also showed you that you could be black, upward mobile, but also remember where you came from. And all parts can fit in. Because you know, the character was Will Smith was portraying with Benny Medina going out to the burbs in Beverly Hills. He still had to fit in. But also he was himself, but the whole parties and everything. So it was a culmination, but it became a unity of one. The chemistry and love and support was there. So 
That's my thought and takes about the Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh, reunion show. It's offered on HBO Max and also it's available on YouTube, I believe, so you can catch it. But if you get a chance and you want to go back down memory lane, it's not really, it's been 30 years. I used to watch that show all the time. I still do. But it was sad when I think about James Avery no longer being here. So thoughts and prayers, but respect to the whole cast and crew for making a show that was a game changer. Give me your thoughts and takes about the Fresh Prince of Bella, the reunion. What you like, what you miss, what would you like to see? Let's talk about it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And um, there are some moments and times when you need to be reflective and to say, wow, that was touching. And that show left a lot. It did a lot. And it was a game changer.